Hi, John Howard here to talk about the language of the nervous system. Do you know how your dogs listen? Do you know how you can get away with saying just about anything as long as you use the right tone of voice? Well, our nervous systems actually listen much the same way. So when you and your precious other, whoever that might be, maybe a human, not a dog, want to have a more connected relationship with one another, this is one of the skills that will really help you, is understanding how the nervous system listens. Because the nervous system pays attention to things that sometimes we don't think about. For example, the nervous system does not speak English, or any other language for that matter. The nervous system listens much the way our dogs listen. It listens to tone of voice, listens to rhythm, it listens to uh, tonality, to uh, rise and fall of the voice. So when you're talking to your partner, pay attention to your tone of voice. Sometimes your tone is actually more important to the communication of what you're saying than your words. The nervous system also listens to other things. This is all something I call the language of the nervous system and it really is kind of its own language because the nervous system is not exactly the fancy thinking part of the brain. So it has a different way of listening. Another thing that the nervous system is paying attention to is how close we are to one another. So if you have a conversation with your partner at four feet, and it's not going very well, maybe it's getting complex and it feels like you're in a courtroom or something, well try closing the distance because the brain has a very different conversation at close range than it does at the distance of, let's say, normal conversation between strangers. So I know this may seem a little weird, but if you get within, let's say, one to three inches of each other, try having the same conversation. You'll find it's very, very different. The nervous system also pays attention to touch. So make sure that when you're trying to convey warmth and connection to somebody, maybe your partner, maybe you don't want to try this at work so much, but that you use a lot of touch. Put a hand on someone's arm, you know, stroke their, their arm or their hand as you're talking, um, stroke their hair if you're talking to your romantic partner. Touch is something that makes a big difference in communication. You may not know this, but as much as 90% of the information that goes back and forth between people is out of our conscious awareness. And in that 90% are all these kinds of messages that are going to the right hemisphere of the brain, the brain stem, the lower areas, and the lower nervous system. So if you know how to speak to that 90%, and if you know how to speak to the dumber parts of the brain, you can become a real connection ninja in relationships. So let's cover it again. The language of the nervous system is a way for you to supercharge connection with your partner. Remembering not to use a lot of words because words tend to stress out the nervous system, especially when there's too many or they go on for too long. Keeping things brief, using the power of touch, using the power of physical proximity, being aware of your tone of voice, and maybe adding in a little eye contact. I know that as a culture, sometimes we're a little uncomfortable with eye contact, but your eyes are communicating so much information to the other person's nervous system, you wouldn't even believe it. So string those things together and try having a different kind of conversation with your partner tonight and see the difference that it makes. If you've enjoyed this video and you want more tips from the new science of relationship that can supercharge your communication, your emotional connection, and your intimacy with your partner, check us out at readysetlove.com. You can try becoming a member today for just $1. We've created the most groundbreaking program available in the new science of relationships to help you and your partner just be rock stars together. I'll see you there.